Hey guys, uh, Josh here again, and today we are going to be showing you um, how to make your settings better in Cinema 4D. Um, as you can see here, I'm already uploading the other video, but uh, here is the video I was promising. Now, what this is going to tell you is, I'm, first I'm going to show you the best settings to use, if, mostly for logos as render time is only about max the max like three minutes for a logo and but for intros if you use these best settings unless you have a crazy ass computer um, it might take you a day or even two so if I were you I would just use the best settings for your intro and then alter the settings for sorry use the best settings for your logo and alter the settings for your intro so here we're going to go ahead and click on, let's start off with edit preferences. And what this is going to do is make your renderer faster. So you want to click on renderer and you want to go number of render threads and that's how many like little black squares there are. Um, I'm actually going to change one right now and I'm going to change it to seven. But uh, you want it not, not less than two and not more than 15. And you can mess around with it and see what it is the best. Um, but yeah. And then what you want to go to is memory, and this is for Cinema 4D. It might be, I mean 12, sorry, and it might be different for 11.5 and 11, but uh, you could probably find it. So for picture viewer, you want to go memory, and you want to set this to about, um, if you want, if you don't mind about it using most of your um, RAM, you want to set it to about 90% of your RAM. Like I said, this computer is shit, so it only has about 2,000 RAM. Um, or two gigs, so I set mine to 1700 so it wouldn't destroy my computer. And then renderer, uh, you want to do about half your um, amount of whatever, so I put thousand. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's just exit out of this and let's go to the actual rendering settings. So, what you want to do is you want to go to output and for the logo. Let's just say it's um, game battles. So game battles logo is 300 by 200, right? And let's keep the resolution. Let's make the resolution about 80. And you want the pixel aspect. Actually, you know what? Screw that. This is all fine. It's all good. Um, that's more for intros, and I'll get into that in another video um, when I start showing you how to do intros. So anyways, let's go to um, save, and, and save you want to click on the file that you want, so let's go to uh, desktop and save there, or oh, whatever actually, that was really dumb of me. That's not what you want to do, what you want to do is go to format and let's make this PNG, and you want to make it alpha channel, and that's pretty much it for that. Um, you can make 8-bit and change up to 16 if you want. Um, that makes it a little bit look a little bit better. Let's go to anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing. <laughs> anyone else how to say that properly? Please tell me in the comments. And go to best. Make sure and make it best. Make sure this is 4 by 4 It should already be on there, but whatever. Still image, and this is pretty much what you have to do for this. Keep make sure that's like how it is. And then options, um, all this is pretty good. Um, yeah, so what you want to do, go to effects. And this is pretty easy. All you have to do is go to effects, lens effects. That's already set normally. Go to effect, ambient occlusion. And that's pretty much already set. You can mess around with the settings, but that's already pretty much set properly. And then go effect again and go to global illumination. And that's pretty much already uh, set. But if you're doing animation, you just click here and go to camera animation. And yeah. Um, but that's basically it, and this will give you a greater and a better looking 3D picture. Um, and glows a little bit better and stuff like that, but that's pretty much it. Um, but now if you want, if you're running an intro or something and you want, or if you just care about faster speeds when you're like, like during your uh, development, and you're just clicking the pre-render thing to see what it looks like, blah, blah, blah. What you want to do is uh, let's just disable all. All but if you want to save this, um, which I recommend, you go to render setting, uh, save preset, and then name it 
logos, blah, 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 right? And you could just go to render setting, load preset, and then load it here. But anyways, um, if you're during your editing, you can uncheck all of this and um, yeah, you can turn off uh, anti-aliasing if you want. Um, but all of this is pretty much already set if when you make a new file anyways. So this basically doesn't need to do anything. Um, if you're rendering intro and you want a little bit uh, faster, you can set the ray depth to about, people say 626, but uh, I find that the quality takes on a bit. So if you want good quality, I would say about 8 for 8. It's a little bit better. And you can turn blurriness off if you want, that will add some bit. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like, I mean, it, you have to trade, um, trade quality for time. And if you want a lot of quality, you gotta, you gotta use the time that it takes. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it, like Cinema 4D, the good thing about it, it doesn't really take up, like it doesn't slow on your computer too much, so you can basically let it run all day, all night, and it, you won't be affected too much. But uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any more questions or anything you want to know, just uh, let me know in the comments, and I will try to make a video. Um, but that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Josh. Hopefully you had a graphic Peace.